I'm going to take these two terms, x squared plus 6x. I'm going to use the coefficient of x to the first to help me determine what number should I add after this in order to have a perfect squared trinomial, which I can factor into the same factor times itself, so that one factor squared. So this will look like f of x equals, now this trinomial is going to be x squared plus 6x plus something to be determined, and then I still have this plus 5 out here. So the number I put here, like I said, is going to come from the 6 here, the coefficient of x to the first. So we talked about the magic number in class. So the magic number is 6 divided by 2. 6 divided by 2 we know is 3. So 3 squared is going to give me the number here. 3 squared is 9. So now I have this perfect square trinomial because I have 3 squared here, 3 times 2 as the coefficient of x. So this will factor really nicely into the same factor twice. Since I added 9 here on the right side of my equation, I have to maintain that equality. So I have to add the same thing on the left side. So I've added 9 to both sides of my equation. Now looking at this, you may really want to add 9 and 5 together. We actually don't want to do that because I'm focusing now on this trinomial. Now this is going to factor as x plus 3 squared. The x plus 3, the 3 comes from the magic number. And again, 3 squared gives us 9. 3 times 2 gives us 6. So that's how I know 3 is the number that's going to go in here. And I created this trinomial by adding the plus 9 so that it would factor really nicely like this. I still have a plus 5 over here. On the left side, I have f of x plus 9. So this is getting closer to vertex form, but now I have this 9 over here on the left side, but I want f of x to be isolated. So I need to subtract 9 from both sides. Now I'll have f of x equals x plus 3 squared, 5 minus 9 is negative 4. Now we have our function in vertex form. So the vertex comes from the number inside the parentheses that's being added or subtracted from x, and then the number added or subtracted outside. <coughs> so if you recall from class, um, we take the opposite of whatever this number is because vertex form here is actually x minus h squared. So the vertex is going to be negative 3, negative 4. Now that I know the vertex, I can go directly into the axis of symmetry. The axis of symmetry is a vertical line and it has to go through the vertex. It goes through the, um, or the x value rather, tells us what the equation is for the axis of symmetry. A vertical line is always in the form x equals a number. In this case, that x value that we're going through is negative 3.